and I want to work directly on the body um, like this. Come down here and I want to choose generative fill because I don't like whatever's going on here, right? You're working directly on the skin. I guarantee you it's not going to like this because look where we're working, right? Yeah, so throws up the Air Force, doesn't like that at all. I mean, are you surprised, right? <music> All right, welcome to the channel. If you're here, you're probably annoyed because you're getting the generative AI fill or generative expand, crop expand error that Photoshop has encountered an error with your results or a problem with your results. Um, please review the guidelines and it's very annoying. I'm not trying to do anything bad here. It's a person in a bikini. It happens a lot for anyone doing, you know, boudoir or swimsuit photos or, you know, just justified reasons why you would need to work on this stuff. So it's frustrating. Um, that Adobe gives us this feature of the generative fill and we can't use it. They've crippled it for whatever their uh, reasons are, right? Two use cases I'm going to go over today. One is the generative expand crop where you get the error. And the other one is maybe you're working directly on the subject. You're working on the skin, maybe the face or the body, and it gives you the error there. So uh, we'll go over those two use cases and how to potentially get around them today. I showed you a way to get around this in a previous video and I'll link that above. I'm just going to show you quickly here how to do it. I'll take my time in that other video if you want to go back and look at it. But essentially what I did was I would select the subject and then select the inverse as it does here. So just the background is selected and then I come over here to the background layer, hit a control J to duplicate it. And if I turn off this bottom layer, what I've done essentially is I just have a layer with just the background and the person that I think the AI stuff is having a problem with is now hidden, right? And 80%, I don't know exactly what it would be, but most of the time that works. I can now go and do like a generative expand or do what I need to do. You know, what you would do at this point is go and uh, in my example, I want to use a 4x5 crop, say, uh, you can see it up here in the top left, and I want to retain sort of my original composition, right, and I want to crop the background, and that's going to work for me um, most of the time. Make sure you choose Generative Expand up here and hit the check mark. Occasionally, on this image, this has worked when I was sort of practicing for this video, and then half the time it didn't work. So just based on that, what I would say, you know, my crop wasn't exactly the same each time I tried it. And sometimes it wouldn't give me the error and sometimes it would. So suggestion number one is if it throws up the error, go back and try it again and just change your crop a little bit, right? And see if that helps. And so it doesn't like this image, right? It doesn't, it's whatever it's seeing, we got the error, right? Um, it has a problem with the form or something. It's still, it's like, no, 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 I'm smarter than you. You can't do this, right? It's like, oh, for the love of God, come on. All right, so I'm going to revert this back to the original image basically here, right? So we're going to just kick in the door here instead. And I'm going to choose the rectangular marquee tool. And like I said, we're just going to muscle this in here. And I'm just going to hide her, right? So there's no form or anything so I'm just going to put a box around her uh, let's duplicate the background layer first okay very important so do this on a new layer so you retain the original background this is a very important step okay I almost forgot so now let's go back and I'm just going to muscle this in here we're just going to completely hide this human human form uh, because God forbid that we would have human forms on our personal computers that Adobe doesn't like. So I right clicked and I choose fill and I chose fill background color, right? Or you could choose color, whatever color you want. It could be black, red, whatever. Uh, so I've just got her basically blocked out. Now, uh, what I want to do is turn this background layer off so that we can't even, there's no layer that has a person in it. It's just this top layer with the box covering up. And now let's try to do the expand like we wanted to to begin with and we'll bring this down here and we'll see if it will do the it says transparent now so let's change that to generative expand don't forget that click the check mark we'll wait a couple thousand years and see if we can get some results and through the magic of video editing and fast forwarding i fast forwarded that whole process so you wouldn't have to wait a thousand years and look it worked um, it expanded the background out of four by five crop um, pretty good. Now it's a little weird. Well, there's some weirdism over here, but you know, we have the options over here, the variations that we can choose from. And I would say that one 
that variation looks pretty good, right? Um, so what do we do now? Well, uh, we can keep this generative expand layer that it created. We've selected the variation up here that we wanted. Um, so let's turn off this layer with the block in it that we created. And now we just have that, right? But let's go back to the background layer where the person was on and turn that layer on. And boom, we have a, a picture, right? We have the original picture. We have the crop expanded. And that's pretty cool, right? All right, so if you're trying to work, say, directly on the skin, let's say, like here, she's got some lines where she was wearing jeans or something before. Say it's a lot worse or there's something here that you want to get rid of. I mean, normally I would just use like the... Uh, healing brush tool or the remove tool but let's just say I wanted to um, there was more to it than this just for the sake of example right and I want to work directly on the body um, like this um, you know you could maybe she has a lot of acne on the face you could select the area of the face and come down here and I want to choose generative fill because I don't like whatever's going on here right you're working directly on the skin so let's just choose generate for generative fill um, and see I guarantee you it's not going to like this because look where we're working, right? Yeah, so throws up the air for us. Doesn't like that at all. I mean, are you surprised, right? So let's just come in here and let's just use the rectangular mark. We could use this as well. and It doesn't matter. Just, let's just select maybe the area that we want to work on, right? Right there. All right. And I'm going to do a control J again. And that is just going to give me... If I turn the background layer off, that's just going to give me that. And let's just see what it does with that. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to just select, say, the line that I want to work on, right, inside of this little selection that I've made. You may want to expand your selection a little bit. I just don't want to see that it's a body, right, that we're working on. I'm assuming that's what it has a problem with, right? So I'm going to select that and I'm going to choose Generative Fill, Generate. So it shouldn't be seeing that there's a person here. It just sees that there's this weird shape that I've created and some skin, right? It's a patch of skin, basically, because I've got this background layer deselected. Very important because we're hiding her. And look at that. It got rid of the line. It didn't give me an error or anything. I can now turn on the background layer and look at that. So I just hit the eyeball. The background layer is on um, and we're good. So we were able to work directly on the skin and bypass the error. So there's another use case for you, okay? All right, give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Give it a sus subscribe if you're so, hey man, I can never get these endings right the first time. Give it a like if you liked it. Let me slow down, give it a subscribe if you're so inclined and have a good day. How about that? All right.